All right, once again, press the button if you like these and subscribe. Um, so today we're going to look at a 1929 TB1 that has been through, it looks like it's been through World War II, but it certainly sounds great. Some of the best sounding instruments sound great because they've been played so much and they vibrate. Let's hear what this one sounds like. <laughs> So, what you've noticed is if we get a banjo that uh, has some original parts, or the parts are broken, or whatever, a lot of times it's just simpler to go ahead and put new parts on it, because it makes it more solid, it looks better, and this has, this is a TB1 1921 one-piece flange, and it does have all new Pruka parts on it, okay? It also started out as a tenor, but we converted it using a Tim Davis banjo neck, who's a very good builder, okay? Um, and thirdly change, we put a first quality tone ring in it, okay? And uh, basically, we're gonna sell it extraordinarily reasonably when you consider probably about half what it would cost if it had all original shiny parts on it. And this banjo probably would sound better than that banjo. In fact, we've had this banjo for two or three years and we bought it with no tone ring in it. And then later we decided to go ahead and put a tone ring in it. Without the tone ring, the thing sounded unbelievable. We put the tone ring in it and it sounds unbelievable for a tone ring banjo. All right, so as we're talking, we've been going up the neck, you see the uh, inlay pattern. And this uh, neck, even though you can't tell it's, it's finished, I asked them to finish it pretty black, but it is curly maple, which is a little harder, and it does contribute to that really cool sound. All right. Well, let's look at this resonator for a minute. Okay. So here we have the resonator all there. Okay. And it has, I believe this is the one. Yeah. So you have a, uh, a crack in the veneer right here. Okay. Totally secure. And let me talk, we talked about earlier, but these resonators are made of poplar. So this wood right here, this thick band is poplar. The actual, uh, with this wood here is poplar, and then there's a thin veneer on the outside. So sometimes, so it's basically plywood, which is really strong. So sometimes you'll get a crack in the outer layer, which we do, and it doesn't affect anything as far as the strength or structure of the resonator, okay? But it does give you a great price, all right? So now, the other thing that's very interesting, if you look closely, we'll do a close-up. This appears to have two binding rings in it. If you look really closely, you'll notice that, that some of these resonators came without a binding on the top, which would be right here. This has actually been painted on, okay? And Steve Huber, who's one of the foremost experts in uh, banjos, when he looked at the resonator casually, he didn't even notice that this was paint. Okay, so I'm just, 
The only reason we're telling you that is it's, it's kind of interesting. You know, what can I say? Then we go um, into the banjo itself, and you'll notice it is the, you'll see the Gibson 1 labels. They put in the 1s and the 2s, all right? And, of course, we have the uh, uh, first quality tone ring in there. And uh, it's either a first quality or a Uber vintage. I, 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 I get confused. But whatever it is, it sounds unbelievable. And uh, so that, that's that. If you have any questions about the banjo, just uh, you can go to banjowarehouse.com and, uh, you know, there'll be more pictures. You can call Andy at 404-372-5482. And the purpose of, of these videos is that when you get a banjo from us and you open the package, that we've hopefully covered everything in it so there are no surprises. You know, we don't get a call, hey, uh, you changed the hardware. Well, we, you know, we told you that, you know. Uh, in fact, it's, it's better, it's stronger. It doesn't affect the sound at all. Um, anyway, that's it. If you want to uh, see some banjos or visit us, just give us a call. Uh, give us a day's notice because we may be out doing something. And uh, we can see you Saturday, Sunday. We can see you early in the morning. Well, yeah, we can see you early in the morning, late at night, whatever. And uh, usually we don't get a lot of, we're mostly internet, so we might get three or four people a week. So normally it would be Andy or myself and the person. So we're not talking large crowds here. And that's basically it. So if you uh, have any questions, just give us a call, and uh, we'll be glad to help you in any way we can.